happy week. Um, okay, we are talking about a crazy fun trend that I'm actually really upset, really obsessed, not uh, upset with, I'm obsessed with. Um, I actually wore it today in honor, personally, I wore it um, to work today in honor of this fun trend. Combat boots. Can we, maybe I should step back a little bit so you guys can see combat boots. Okay, I'm showing you how I'm wearing it, how I think you should be wearing it, and then kind of some tips and tricks on um, how to style them because I know sometimes it's like, how do you style the laces? Do you, how do you want the laces? All the things. But anyways, okay, let's start with the outfit first. So we're pairing it back to these Sorrel Lennox um, combat boots, and I'm going to take them off eventually to show you guys all the little details. But we have it paired with the Spanx Essential Leggings. These actually feel really good today, just sucking me in. Um, this new Sanctuary Thermal, yum, yum, yum. It's got a little bit of fuzz. It's a waffle knit. It's that Mina, the one I love, but now like in a little bit of fuzz with the fuzz. Fuzz, not the cozy. Cozy is better than fuzz. That does not sound attractive. Um, in this new leopard print that has like a brown, black, um, colorway on it and then this new varley jacket look i just tied it slightly in the back cute little sleeve detail creates a shape i mean when it gets cold okay, look at even like the hood detail just tie it up makes me feel like i have a waist even though i don't hit in the town okay but let's start with these lennox you guys these right now are like our number one selling combat boot when i saw these last spring i was like obsessed Okay, I'm gonna pause us, have you come down, I wanna show you how I tied them, okay? Okay, you guys, some combat boots I like laced up all the way, I'll show you um, another look with that. But with these Lennox, I just literally wanna grab them, put them on, slide them on, and run out the door. These are also all weatherproof, so they're waterproof, snowproof, amazing for the north. Love this color, how cute is it? They're just, I just, ah, I'm kind of obsessed with them. So what I did is I left them unlaced so I could literally slip my um, foot through, but then I just gave them a little knot on the end so like the laces don't, you know, slip out. The, it looks like it's like the ice skating, like when you um, lace up ice skates and you can get like zigzag it through, but it actually doesn't let the um, lace slide through. So I just did little knots on it so then I can just slip them on and off and still gives that really cool undone look. Okay, look number two. Let's start in close. I'm still wearing this Sorrel, the Lennox combat boot. Look at this Michael Starr's sweater. Obsessed. How good is this camo? I'm kind of missing camo this fall. I'm so into tie-dye that I want camo. Makes sense? I mean, are you guys in the same boat? But look at that really cool varsity stripe. Easy pullover. Ah, how cute. And the craziest hair. Getting my hair done this week. Thank goodness. But anyways, just that easy pullover. Have a, the good American. Let's see what we got here, guys. These are the good waist chewed hem, if you kind of see here. It's kind of a clean black, but it's got that little chewed hem, which I kind of love, especially with a combat boot. I love an ankle jean with a combat boot, because it just gives you like a little bit of, you know, skin peeking through. These are the like, um, solid black, and I left my boots the same way you guys, but this just like elevates that boot. How Minnesotan do I sound when I say boot? When I'm tired, it really comes out hard, so you're welcome. You're welcome for the boot. But anyways, so I just got them on again. So that was kind of like my last look was my weekend look here, just elevating it up just a notch. Want to be a little bit more put together, but how easy an outfit. Little statement sweater, basic skinny jean, and then again, tossed on my Lennox, and I'm ready to go. Okay, I'm obsessed with this outfit. I'm obsessed with this outfit. New combat boot look. This is the Dolce Vita Lottie. Okay, if you're like stepping into, like you, you wanna dress it up a little bit, you just want like a clean combat boot, but not the Doc Martens that we loved in the 90s, which I wanted one so bad and I never, my parents would buy me one. Still love you though, it's totally fine. Um, this is just like a slimmer, cleaner, sexier combat boot um, that is still giving those Doc Martens vibes, but like sexier. Okay, let's talk about this outfit because I'm literally obsessed. I wanna bring it all home right now. Okay, and then I'll get into the boot details of how I've tied it. Okay, this is new Maddie M jacket. Such a great layer, so light. I think when it gets crazy cold here, I can still wear it inside. New, and I'm wearing a large in this, guys, and that feels perfect. Like, I might go up a size just to have a little bit more of a boyfriend, but that feels perfect. Okay, then this Monroe Thermal Mock Neck Layering Sweatshirt. I think I'm wearing a large in this, too. I'll confirm. Obsessed little bandit. I, it's thin. Feels like a sweatshirt. So fun. And then these new A Goldies, which I really loved the Hudson's last week. Here's another, which is much more of like a little straight kick flare. This is like a straight skinny. Obsessed. Here's my belly button, guys. I mean, my belly button, it's inside my pants. That's how high these are. They're amazing. So, so stretchy. I'm wearing an eight, and I actually might try on a six 
just because I have a lot of back gapping. I mean, like it's making me feel so good for that like one Peloton ride I went on this this month, like crushing it. And then because it's a straight, I'll show you this. I literally left this unzipped, put my straight leg in there. And if it gets a little bunchy, I'm totally cool with it. I'm gonna take off my boot to show you guys like what it looks like laced or on. I actually just lower the thing, but um, oh, and then this little two for one just gives me just like a touch of glam, but uh, obsessed with this look. Yep, wrap it up, bring it home. Okay, show you the boot. Now. All right, guys, I took you off the lighting because I wanted to show you guys like how I styled it. So I literally just left the jean as is, kind of tucked it into there. Sorry, that was really weird. Left it a little unzipped. And then again, see, this has the ice skating hooks. Do you see that? And then I just tied it tightly here so it doesn't come unloose. So this is just giving me a little bit more room. I ha definitely have a thicker thigh. You guys all know that. So I don't want that boot so, so tight. Maybe if I do it with a dress or a skirt, I'll leave it like tied up that I tied up, tied up, tied up the ankle. Um, but I just felt like it balances out my legs a little bit more and just leaves it a little bit more of an undone look. Okay, you can see how bad my hair is today. It was like I put way too much conditioner in and then I didn't rinse it out good enough and then I put other hair product in and it just, it went, it went spiraling down from there. But other combat boots, these are the shoots. So fun, have a little bit of stud. They still have a zipper up the side, so you treat them the same way as that I have these Dolce Vitas on. But that's how we're styling combat boot, you guys. It's a fun, fun, fun new trend to try this fall and winter. You guys are loving it. Um, again, one last tip, if you're gonna tiptoe into a combat boot first, I think the Sorel are a really fun intro into that just because it's like weekend wear, all about it. But anyways, have a great week and I'm gonna see you next Wednesday.